Ah, I just remembered. I what I forgot last video. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting off the next video the same night, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of work tonight, but we'll, we'll, we'll show you some more tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I'm getting confused here. It's late. <laughs> Bear with me. Anyways, what I forgot to mention in the last video was I need to do three more things of these heads that I kind of forgot about. Two of them are experimental. One I don't mind showing you. The other I'm not going to, you know, maybe someday. But, um... One of the things I needed to do was, I needed to, um, this is not going to work out. No, damn it. Come on! Flipping the head one-handed, a heavy freaking iron head is not easy. Okay. I need to enlarge this port from, uh, this is 3 8 NTP to about half inch NTP for the temperature sensor on my Corvette. Now I like to use the stock one, it works good enough. But, so I gotta, you know, drill this out, retap it, and so on. And then, I want to drill and tap this spot right here for another experimental mod that we'll, we'll get into that here a little bit later in this video. So, <laughs> I'm going to get to work, and I'll show you what I've done here in a second. Okay, it's the next day. I got about an hour -ish or so on the chambers last night. I probably should have filmed yesterday before I started, but I was getting late and I, just like tonight, I only got a few more hours I can make noise. I mean, without being rude to my neighbors. I mean, I'd, I don't like to run my compressor too late. They, my new neighbors haven't officially told me how late I can go. My old neighbors didn't really care, but I still, as a courtesy, did not want to run it too late for the other neighbors that might have heard. So, I mean, you know, my ones that are just over so anyways <laughs> let's get started so um oh I, I did call the machine shop they're not gonna have a problem fitting me in you know they're kind of busy but just for some milling that they that's just you know just a couple days it'll be fine so i'll drop and drop them off monday pick them up maybe wednesday and so on you know i got other stuff i gotta do while they're, they're dropped off anyway and another thing i, I forgot to mention <laughs> the million other things <laughs> is i want to cc a few chambers possibly before I drop the heads off so I have an idea of how much I need to have them taken off because initially I was just going to get them cleaned up surface but I'm going to go first a little bit of milling I think just to get the get the compression you know up so you know we'll see what we can do we'll see where they are and you know how much you know how much I can take them down so <laughs> anyways here's the heads what I'm doing now is I am I'm working out, I'm notching the chambers a little bit, and this this actually was the worst one right here. This one was pretty bad. I wish I would have showed this head last night, because I didn't even look at the other head really. The other head is not as bad. I got I already got it more consistent and better shaped, you know, than this one. This one is it's getting there, it's almost there. I'm actually just about to start breaking out the stones and we'll I'm gonna go over them with the stones and you know just get them, you know, smoothed out a little better. So right now they're just they're just rough from the burrs and I gotta work out some little ridges and the marks and stuff stuff. But basically what I'm trying to do is now that I got a good example of my eBay heads, I'm trying to you know pretty much copy their notch and you know do a little bit of I guess reverse engineering. <laughs> but I mean basically I mean, if you look at like the eBay head, you know the guides and such. You can kind of see I'm doing a very similar thing with the darts. And people have said that the darts are practically, you know, they're, they're, they're like a porter's head. They're, they're, they're a good blank canvas for you to do what you want with. And you can see my canvas, my canvases are similar to this, <laughs> this, I don't know what you'd call it, <laughs> masterpiece, maybe, no, not quite, no, no. That'd be taking it a little too far for an import head. If it was a USA head, I would call it a masterpiece, but you know, we won't go there. Anyways, time for me to put down the camera and get to work. Okay, that's it for tonight. I got the chambers done on one head. Well, 97% of the way. I mean, I'll probably 
finish the other head, then go back and touch up this this head a little more. I mean, that's usually how I do it. I go, you know, back and forth and so on. So let me show you that. I'm going to go and get cleaned up. <laughs> okay. I think they turned out pretty good. There's a nice comparison shot. Although I wish, I wish I wouldn't have notched them right here, but I didn't know better, and now I know. <laughs> so, anyways, ah, uh, there's a good shot of both of them, and you be the judge. I'm gonna go cleaned up. I will get back working on finishing that one up tomorrow, and that'll be the next clip. So. <laughs> See ya, the next shot tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta dry my gloves off. <laughs> oh, I changed my shirt when I'm actually working. That's that's how nasty cast iron is. I mean, yeah, that's cast iron. Yeah. yeah. And the other head is done. Well, not done done, but the chambers are done. <laughs> I still got a, a bit more to go, so let's get to the chambers. Okay. I think it turned out nice. And as I mentioned earlier, this head was already a lot closer, so I didn't need to do nearly as much. You know, it still took, you know, a few hours, but, you know, not a lot of time. And you can see for yourself, compared to the other one, shot of both. There it is. Now, a few things I want to mention. One, I actually have, you know, I you know I got a few hours in these notches, but I got, I got several more hours in other parts of the chamber. I mean, you can't really notice, but there's a lot of work in these chambers, you know, both heads. I mean, actually, there's a few hours in these chambers right here. I mean, there's more than just sanding. There's there's little stuff here and there that you pick up. So, I mean, just one of those things you get with experience and stuff like that, and. It's, you know, we're not going into too much detail because this, this is a vlog. This is not a how-to. So, also, I want to mention, I know some people are going to say I should polish them. And that, that, that's a, I guess, that's a matter of opinion and preference. Whether you want to polish your chambers, burr finish your chambers, or just sand them, stone them, finish, whatever. I don't like polish for low compression. It's, you know, I guess more maybe a, a mixture thing. Maybe a high, higher issue at that point. And that's my opinion. So, there it is. Um, what else? I want to point out something else. Oh! I think I actually... I, I, I not think. I looked at my pictures earlier, and I actually have a picture of a stock Dart 2 chamber. Because the Dart 2 chambers were not as good as the Sportsman 2, so... You know, I'm going to throw that up over here, and you can make, you can see what it looked like before all this, so. But, that pretty much wraps it up for this vlog. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see short updates like this, or you prefer, you know, just like, you know, a longer video with, with less, you know, rambly, vloggy filler. <laughs> So, there it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep it real.